capture the objectives. What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and uh, today you guys are going to be watching Hardpoint Yemen, and you guys are probably thinking, what? He's going to post Hardpoint Yemen? And uh, to be honest, I wasn't really sure about posting this. All I'm going to say is it came down to the last Hardpoint. I ended up doing pretty well. My teammates stepped it up towards the end of the game. Uh, so today what I want to talk about is my trip to New York City and college orientation, which ended a day ago. And the New York City trip ended a while ago, like last week. So we left in like early July, not really, really, like July 14th, so towards the middle. And uh, when we got there, what we did was we ate and then went to the hotel. And I intended on recording the whole trip, but the thing is, like when I was recording, I didn't really look at my camera where it was going, or actually my phone. And uh, it turns out I actually ended up filming the floor most of the time. <laughs> So you guys won't be getting a New York City video. I mean, like maybe I'll throw in like a little clip or two, sometime. Hard point identified. Who knows? So, Hard point on the first day we went to the Empire State Building, which was pretty cool. We didn't go to the very top. We went to the 68th floor, I believe it was. It, it was one of the like it was like the second highest observatory that you could go to, and that was pretty good. But this is this wasn't my first time going to New York City, but it was. Like my fourth, I believe. Like I, I've been there quite a few times, so I, I know what to expect when going there. Uh, that was pretty much all we did the first day. Like we just went there during the night, then we ate dinner at uh, Korean barbecue. And if you guys happen to go to a Korean barbecue, uh, try Galbi. Uh, it's amazing. I can't say like I can't think of any place where I've tasted b bad Galbi. Like some Koreans call it Garbi. But uh, on the menu, on the English description, it'll have like a G-A-L. So if you guys have the chance to try it, try it. I, I highly suggest it. And uh, before I go on, uh, for certain kills, uh, I'm going to show you guys the enemy's perspective. Just because, for one, I kind of want to see what it was like. And two, I, I don't want to say it like that, but like I kind of pooped on them. <laughs> Advised. Lightning strike inbound. So uh, you'll see that in the near future. It's kind of like when we started tying the series or the game. So on the second day, we ended up going to the Statue of Liberty, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, we had to take a subway down to South Ferry Station, and uh, what we did there was we just, like I said, took a ferry up, up to uh, Staten Island. We explored it a little bit. Uh, it was quite nice. That, that was my like, third time, I believe, going to the Statue of Liberty. Last year, we actually went to the top on the crown, which was pretty cool. The view wasn't exactly what I expected. Like, all we could see basically was the sea and like part of an island. But what we did this year was went to the pedestal, which was still pretty cool. Uh, oh, I pooped on him there. Reloading. Um. So yeah, the pedestal was pretty cool. Other than that, we really didn't do too much after that. Like we went to the um, souvenir shop, I guess you can call it, and some of my relatives uh, bought some stuff. If you guys didn't, did I mention this? No, I did not. We went to New York City basically because my relatives came for my high school graduation, and uh, they were going to be leaving the last day we were in New York City, so we just wanted to show them around a little bit. So that's basically the whole purpose of that. So, um, on the third day, we. I gotta remember this stuff because this is actually a little bit far back in my head. Uh, what did we do on the third day? Hard point identified. Oh, yeah, on the third day, we went to the 9 11 Museum. That, that was pretty cool. Um, the, the stuff that happened there was sad, though, and whatever. Like, you see footage like either like radio or uh, TV it always gives you chills especially seeing that and my friend claims that some of the footage was edited and uh, I'm not saying that he's wrong but re regardless of that though like it's just a hard point sad thing to look at hard point contested so right now you guys can see we're down by a little less than a hundred uh, I'm 15 and 13 they started going off a little bit and I am killing some kid. Hang on, I gotta show that. Uh, which person called it in? I think it was this guy. 
yeah, he called in the RCX, just watch. My nade ended up blowing it up and... Friendly <laughs> Killed that cynical guy, that was pretty funny. Inbound. So, uh, on the fourth day, we got up at like 7 or 8, and then uh, we just went to um, JFK and dropped them off, and then that afternoon we left for uh, Syracuse, and now I'm getting home around 11.50. So that was pretty cool. And I got one story I got to share with you guys. Um, last year when I went to New York point. City, my dad and I were getting the um, metro cards that you, you need to ride the subway. So we were there for a little bit and the machine wasn't taking our money for some reason. And uh, there was a little line behind us, like I'd say three people. And this one guy behind us, he, he was like, come on, you guys have been there for the past half hour. Like, he legitimately said that as if he was serious, but we've literally been there for about three minutes. And there are other machines there, too. I, I gotta show, uh, not this kill, but... I pick up some kids on me, and, uh... So, about that story, like, I was legitimately so mad. l store missile on standby. Mm, I'm messing that up. All right. So, hard point is ours. Right now, I'm going to show you guys uh, this guy's perspective about that because I want to see what it looked like, and also I'm sure you guys might want it too. Like I just, <laughs> I'm a maniac to play against. Holy crap! So, about that story, like I was legitimately so pissed. Like I, I, I just had to like hold back my anger. Like I, I legitimately wanted to punch that guy. But he, he was an adult, and I didn't want to start any trouble, so I, I had to be the... I just beat my mental mind, I guess you could say. So, that was pretty fun. So now let's talk about my college orientation. So, they have like a... Sorry about the phone. Uh, someone should pick that up hopefully soon. So, basically... They had this requirement where you had to stay on campus, or at least that's what they told everyone. And orientation was two days, so a lot of people spent the night in uh, like a dorm. But um, it actually was not required, and I live about ten minutes away from the college that I'm going to, so I didn't want to spend the night there. And uh, yeah, so basically, college orientation just started at like 8:30. We actually had to wait until like 10:15 though to actually get started with the presentations and stuff so what they did was they brought everyone into uh, like a lecture hall I guess you could call it and uh, just basically lectured us about college you know all this stuff like money and you know all the stuff that you would need to know basically and there were parents there too and uh, after that they divide us into like small groups of course though um, we had teams um, there was like some sort of competition that, to be honest, I didn't really care about it, to be honest, so. Uh, our team ended up winning the competition, but that, that was on the second day, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So, after the lectures and the small groups, like I guess I can match what we did in the groups. So, basically we did icebreaker activities, and uh, our group did this compliment thing, where we had to scream compliments at each other. Like, they put us into like two separate lines that are like parallel to each other, and we had to scream compliments to our partner. And, uh, I was across this girl, and the thing that she said just, it's so random, it just made me laugh. And if you laugh, you bit, you're out, basically. So, she, she was like, I like the green things on your shoes, and I, I'm just like, <laughs> like, it's just such a stupid game, but it, it can be stupidly funny at the same time. So that was basically the small groups. After that, we had lunch. Uh, I, it was a small cafeteria for the size of people that uh, we had to eat at, or small dining hall, I guess you could call it. Uh, right now, I'm 40 and 21. Uh, you guys can see that we're down by two. Actually, we do take the lead here. Taking control. Uh, Jeez, I didn't expect Point contested. myself to be able to talk this much. So I gotta keep talking, I guess. So the Mission after lunch, we just now. basically We've did more presentations, more small group activities. We didn't really do anything too spectacular. Uh, I decided to go at 7, even though the whole thing actually lasted till midnight. Hard point identified. Because I just didn't feel like staying for the skits, because honestly, I was already bored out of my mind. 
I don't get me wrong, I met some new people and uh, they they're pretty nice, but it's just it was boring. And uh, I'm gonna have to really speed it up here. So the second day, it was basically the same thing as the first day, except we got our uh, IDs and uh, our computer accounts set up, emails, all that stuff. It was more presentations, some small group activities, and uh, basically it ended up at four. So yeah, that was basically college orientation. I know I didn't really give like a like a good like I guess you can say explanation about it, but I'm gonna have to stick with that. So we did end up losing by two, which is depressing, especially since we were down by about a hundred earlier in the game. I ended up going 42 and 24, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I do plan on talking about high school and four separate videos but I have to plan it out so uh, that might be a little bit before you guys get it so um yeah sorry about that so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, if you did please leave a like if you guys have any suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment section below